Hi everyone. So I'm currently on my lunch break at work and I've just decided to go to the cathedral to take some photos while I'm on my lunch break. And I'm not a religious person, but I've got to say if there's one thing that religions do well, that is build impressive architecture. And the cathedral here in Carlisle is actually really impressive. And the, the inside as well, in particular, is really impressive. Um, I forgot until just recently how it, how nice it is. Um, one of my friends from London visited recently, so I was showing him the few sites that Carlisle has. So we went inside the cathedral, and it was only then that I remembered how how nice it is inside. In fact, it, Carlisle Cathedral's got something like the biggest stained glass window in Western Europe, something like that. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's really nice. So I thought while I was on my lunch break, I'd take a few photos. Um, and initially I thought I'll just go just to sort of get an idea of the framing, how I can compose it and then I'll go back at a later date to take some you know better perfect shots because um, my thinking was I've, I've just ordered some like a man photo pocket support which um, let me just get the camera out Vlogging so much easier when I'm at home and there's no other people around. Um, what was I saying? So I've just ordered a man photo pocket support, which is a tiny little thing that attaches onto the bottom of your camera and allows you to rest your camera down on various different surfaces. And I thought, well, that's a great solution for, for example, uh, being able to use a tripod where in places where tripods aren't normally allowed. Obviously inside a cathedral for example you'd not be able to set up a big tripod um, so I thought well I'll order that that'd be great because I can just it's so small I can just quickly place my camera on the on the ground and it will give me the support I need to take um, to take the right exposure but it's alright <laughs> I really thought I'd find myself a quite little spot here. But yeah, basically because inside the cathedral is obviously very dark, um, I thought I'll just go there t today, take a few handheld shots, just to get, now there's a bloody train. Right. So my thinking was today, I'll just take a few handheld shots just to get an idea of composition and all that. And then when my support arrives, I'll be able to go back, place it on the ground. Obviously, the inside of the cathedral is very dark, but the support will, uh, will allow me to get the right exposure and not, you know, without getting any camera shake and all of that. However, as I was there, because you've got this huge stained glass window, uh, the roof is really impressive, a beautifully painted roof. So the scene really dictates that you need to be shooting in, in portrait. Uh, and this pocket, pocket support attached to the bottom of your camera, it's just three little legs. So it's great uh, for landscape, but it doesn't allow you to shoot portrait. It doesn't give you that support in portrait. Um, so I think I'm just gonna have to stick with a few handheld shots that I took. I put the image stabilization on, I cracked the ISO right up, but the images that I've got, they'd be fine just for just for my own use. They'd be fine even for social media uh, because, say, I post them on Instagram, they're going to be tiny. So the, they look perfectly sharp enough for, for Instagram, for example, but if you were to zoom right in on them, uh, they're not perfectly sharp. And this is one instance as well, actually, where I did bracket my shots. So I am going to do some HDR um, because, again, the church is... The inside of the cathedral is very dark, but you've also got like the sunlight coming through that beautiful stained glass window, and there's a, obviously a lot of contrast there. And to really capture a scene like that correctly and get all the detail in both the shadows and the highlights, then you really need to bracket your shots. So I've done that, and again, it's not that I'm 100% against HDR. If it's done well, like I said in my previous video where I discussed HDR, 
Um, if it's done well, then it, it's good. And like I said in that video, Trey Ratcliffe is a great example of someone who does HDR photography very, very well. Um, so there's nothing wrong with bracketing, bracketing photos. It's when HDR is done really, really badly and it's processed really, really badly. That's what makes it bad. It's the processing. People go too far on the post-processing and look, it looks very, very cartoony. I won't be doing any of that. Um, but my only other really real solution would be possibly to use my, my Gorillapod maybe potentially if I was quick enough I'd be able to get away with just quickly dropping that on the floor taking a couple of photos if I do that in like you know just literally a minute then potentially maybe I could do that without getting into any bother but the problem with the gorilla pod is yes I've got that on the one way around for a start but the problem with the gorilla pod is if I take my strap off first of all. So say I was walking in the cathedral and I thought, right, I've got one shot to do this really quickly without getting myself into bother. Now, because the gorilla pod is very versatile in that the legs do twist in like every rich way, so you can wrap it around tree branches and all of that. But that does mean if you're just wanting to sit it on the ground as like a normal tripod, because the legs do move around so much, it is so fiddly to get the legs straight and to get the thing balanced. Uh, so I, I do, when I am using this, just as like a regular tripod, I do find it an absolute nuisance. And admittedly, this bench isn't the best place to show this off. Um, I've got it balanced there, but it's not straight. It is on a ball head, so I can straighten it up. However, of course, again, that's in landscape. I want it in portrait, so I'd have to Move it around again for that. And... Yeah, I could be here all day doing this. You kind of get my point. If I'm trying to be really, really quick and just taking a photo somewhere where tripods aren't allowed, it's not really an option. So the only other thing, I know man photo do do like a tiny little tripod very similar in size to this gorilla pod that I have however the legs are very rigid so it's just more like a traditional style uh, tripod that's good <laughs> um, so yeah potentially I could buy myself that and use that because that is just a case of opening the three legs dropping it on the floor boom done so if I really, really, really wanted to get a great photo inside the cathedral, one that I could put in my portfolio, for example, or one that I could print out, um, I think that would be my only option, is to buy myself a little, one of those Manfoto mini tripods. Uh, but for the moment, I'm happy just with those photos for my own use. And at least now I know what I need to do if I do decide to go back to get some good photos. And um, yeah, like I say, I'm on my lunch break, so it's just it's just a good way to spend your lunch break. Good way of getting some practice with my camera, and given that I am on my lunch break, and um, I've spent all that time rambling on and taking photos and waiting for people to leave, I should probably go. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.